hello everyone again. <laughs> okay, so if you were just watching, I just got cut off. Now for those that don't know, I'm actually living in a hotel at the moment. Uh, we sold our house and we haven't been able to find a new one yet. So the hotel internet decided to kick me off while I was in the middle of this Facebook Live. Don't we all love technology? Um, and you can see my little Christmas tree in the background here. Anyway, let me start this again. I wanted to jump on here today to talk with you about something that is a little bit different than what I normally focus on. Normally, as you know, if you follow this page for a long time, you know I talk a lot about food and how the food affects our kids' behavior, it affects their body, it affects their brain. You know, you know that food is one of my passions, but the reality is food isn't the only thing that affects our health and our well-being. And I talk about a lot of the other things here on the page as well. And there's one thing that I found years ago that drastically changed my life. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. And so I did ask for those that were watching previously, if you wanted to drop it in the comments now, what you think that one thing that I found that drastically changed my life, put it in the comments below. Now, I'm not going to wait too long to see who puts it in the comments below because I know that those that were watching have to watch this over again because I got cut off. But anyway... I don't think anyone's going to make that guess, but let me dig in and I won't let you wait any longer. Now, all of the parents I work with struggle, okay, including myself before I started this progress. You know, they're tired, they're stressed. Many feel like they're failures. I know I felt like a failure as a mum when I was going through challenges with my son because, you know, you just can't get your kids to behave better. Um, they aren't able to uh, look at the bright side of the challenges. Realistic expectations. Oh, Courtney, I have to say that is one good guess. It's not it, but that is a really, really good guess. And realistic expectations is one thing that I talk about all the time. But let me get back to it, okay? Um, you know, my, the people that I work with, my families, they, you know, then when they first start with me, they're not able to look at the bright side of the challenges they, uh, that they're facing with their children. You know, they say to me, what bright side? Uh, because all I see are meltdowns and embarrassing, you know, charades in front of other people. These parents, they feel defeated because... Nothing they have tried has worked. They feel embarrassed. I, I felt embarrassed. They feel judged. I, I felt judged all the time because of the way our children behave in public or at a family gathering. Have you ever felt like this? Like nothing you do makes any difference at all. Like there's no bright side to your child's behavior struggles. If you could re even relate to, to anything, say, me too in the comments below. Now, often when I talk with parents on the phone, I can tell they're, they're holding back the tears. Um, you know, they're holding back from really letting it out and sharing all those challenges with me on a daily basis. You know, and a lot of the time as we get deeper and deeper, they do let out those tears because they realize that they're talking to someone that totally gets with where they're at. Um, I felt like this too and I share that to make others feel like they're not alone. But then I did something that drastically changed my life. And that's what I wanted to share with you all today. It's not got to do with our children today, okay? It's got to do with us as parents because it's a really simple thing to do and it does not cost a thing. Um, I can see lots of me too's there. Thank you for sharing. You guys are not alone. This simple thing, it didn't change my son's behavior, but it did change me. What I'm talking about is a gratitude journal. I began writing down a few things each day that I was thankful for and the more I did it, the more I realized my attitude was changing. It wasn't that there were more things that to be grateful for. Instead, what I noticed was those things were already there, okay? I started looking for things to write in my journal and this process, it helped me to find more and more blessings in my life. On one uh, especially difficult day, I remember sitting down to write in my journal and rethinking all the events of the day. And I started thinking about 
my son's rigid thinking. Um, this kid would not take no for an answer and I'm sure there are par plenty of parents out there that have kids the same and he just pushed and pushed and pushed if he didn't get his way. And as I reflected on this challenge from a place of gratitude, I realized that this rigid thinking, this strong-willed behavior was also a blessing. My son is persistent, okay? So I had a choice that day. I could focus on his rigid thinking or I could focus on his persistence. It was the same character quality, but a different way of looking at it. Practicing gratitude on a daily basis helped me change my perspective. It helped me think things like, my child isn't me think things like, my child isn't where I want him to be yet, but we are further along this journey today than we were yesterday. Gratitude doesn't always change your circumstances, but it does change the way that you view them. So I'm popping on here live today to give you guys a challenge. I want to challenge each and every one of you to start a gratitude journal. It doesn't need to take a lot of time. You don't need to write a lot of words. You could simply even write one sentence that you're thankful for and grateful for to do with your child. Grab a notebook and start writing each day and a few things that you're grateful for. In fact, I'd love for you to comment below and tell me the first three things you plan to write in your journal, okay? Now, guys, have a wonderful evening. I thank you for watching live and please give this a try because it will change your world. It will. It will change the way you look at things and you will really appreciate where you are now when you're going on this journey.